The latest sweet baby ink game on the block capes has been getting absolutely annihilated by gamers who are sick and tired of developers or community strategists straight up lying to our faces. And now the publisher is banning numerous Steam users after they question the narrative surrounding sweet baby ink's affiliation. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, I've talked about capes a lot on the channel already because they did initially try to hide their affiliation with Sweet Baby Inc., and that's not gonna go over well with people. There are over 400,000 gamers that follow DEI Detected. Never mind the people who don't follow it, who are paying attention to the culture war and, of course, Gamergate 2. And now the publisher has decided to start silencing you after they've questioned SBI's um, affiliation. This is a That Park Place article. It says, Daedalic Entertainment, the German publisher behind Capes, banned numerous Steam users from the game's forums after they questioned the company's narrative surrounding Sweet Baby Inc. Now, funnily enough, Daedalic Entertainment was the publisher and the developer behind the Gollum game They came out last year that was a complete and utter nightmare. And because that was such a big failure for them, they stopped doing game development and they're solely a publisher now so they definitely did not already have the best reputation, never mind now. It says in a recent post to the game Steam forums, the community strategist Penta wrote a post titled Conclusive Statement About SBI, where he attempted to explain why there are 12 Sweet Baby Inc. employees listed in the game's credits if all Sweet Baby Inc. did was an intermediary to find voice talent. Now, yes, he did try to say, oh, well, you know, it's industry practice that you put all of the names of the people at the company in your credits, which is complete and utter BS and is definitely not the case. You don't have the entirety of Rocksteady being credited on something like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And if Ubisoft or Rocksteady work together, you wouldn't have the hundreds of employees from both companies being added to the credits. It makes absolutely no sense. So they can try to, of course, cover their tracks. It's not going to work. And people were just simply questioning why there are seven to eight main developers like programmers, writers, producers, but there was 12 consultants on this game. And then, of course, the story became, oh, well, we didn't actually really implement anything that they suggested. And if this decision had been made in 2024, we most likely wouldn't have worked with them again. Not that they wouldn't. They were not saying they did not like Sweet Baby and they did not want to be affiliated with them anymore. They're basically just trying to play the fence because they realize they've marketed this game heavily towards modern audiences, aka sensitive snowflakes on social media who are just looking to support games that go down a checklist and check off every single diversity box. But but they, they also see, on the flip side, the fact that even if they say they don't want to be affiliated with Sweet Baby anymore, Sweet Baby still did alter this game. They can say, oh, they just helped find us voice actors and got us in contact with individuals in the industry all they want, but at the end of the day, the product is really what speaks and is the reason why people are going to swipe their credit card or not, and it's just not a good game that does seem to have a lot of SBI work done to it. But in his most recent post, Penta states, um, of course, it's an industry norm that if you contract a company, you credit the whole company. But finally, he admitted that regardless of their involvement, the company is committed to inclusivity and to quality. As a company bringing games to an international audience, we take the term inclusivity and equality literal. We don't condone hate towards any type of group. This includes among POC, LGBTQ+, and others. What White male gamers. See, another issue here is that while they can claim they do not condone hate, Sweet Baby Inc. condones hate. They started a harassment campaign and a deplatforming campaign against one single gamer for taking 
tools that were available on Steam and adding games to a list. They wanted Cabrutus deplatformed for that, when on the flip side, that list could be used in Sweet Baby's favor. There could be massive activists out there, whether they're, you know, journalists at Kotaku's Polygons the Gamers, or they're simply gamers sharing around, they could share that list and say, buy every game off of this list. Cabrutus didn't tell anybody what to do or what not to do with the list. They just spun it into, oh, he wants to ruin our studios and our companies. No, he just simply wants to inform people the same way I do. I talk about these types of games and companies on the channel to inform you. I'm not telling you to boycott or to buy. I'm simply wanting to give you the information because the mainstream industry is always going to hide the truth from you. But now we're actually finding out that they are banning people criticizing capes. It says an ex-user, uh, shared that he was banned from the Cape Steam forum after questioning this narrative from Penta. Specifically, he was banned for commenting, I think he is lying to try and save the game. I believe Sweet Baby did change stuff and it stayed changed. Why hire more consultants than devs and have them on their payroll for a few years and then take nothing they say into account? It sounds like a lie. Yeah, I mean, that is not some harassment or hate-filled post, right? He's not threatening anyone. He wasn't even swearing. He simply said, I think this guy's lying. I think they're trying to cover their asses. And what happened? He got banned, which is total and complete bullshit. And of course, he's not the only one to be banned. A user named Daryl was also banned for posting. Just a heads up for everyone. Synthetic is a level zero account, and the way they're commenting it seems like it's a fake account made by a member of Sp Bitfire or something. He continued, notice how the strategic community dev dude only responds to synthetic and ignores everyone else, whilst the level zero account positively reinforces the company by doing stuff like all hope and love for the game devs. And the all these legion of crybabies, us the gamers, this is a sickening copia. In my opinion, I personally think that this synthetic account is fake. I think that it's him or, yeah, just a dev at Spitfire. Fire, and it's not a legitimate supporter of the game. And now, if you begin questioning the individuals Penta is responding to or questioning basically anything surrounding capes and you're not patting these devs on the back and the publisher on the back, you're getting banned, which is absolutely awful behavior. You have a Steam forum for people to discuss the game. That's what they're doing. If it's about Sweet Baby Inc.'s affiliation with the game, if it's about DEI in the game, it does not matter. It's still about the game. So you should not be silencing people. And all they're doing is making this situation worse for themselves. If Penta had put out that initial statement a week ago and that was it, this topic would have died down. There would have been nothing else to discuss, but he just kept going on and on and on and he's made multiple posts and he's tried to reprimand people and he's tried to say thank you so much to the five people that are supporting us for sticking by our side during these hard times. If he hadn't have said anything else, the backlash would have died down. But now we see them double, tripling, and quadrupling down, and it's not going to go well. If you silence people on the Steam community forums, they're going to take to social media like X. They're going to take to YouTube. They're going to voice how unhappy they are. And really, it's just going to cause the Streisand effect to happen. So it will be interesting to see if going forward, this Capes publisher decides to say anything else or continues to ban Steam users for simply questioning Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement and this game in totality. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.